Hi everyone, welcome to the Prince of Technical channel. In the today's lecture, we are going to discuss about what is class, object, method and how to access these things in a very detailed way. So today we are going to see this concept with Eclipse. So first, I will create one project. Let us go to the file, new. I will create a Java project. So click on the project. This is a Java project. Give the project name. So we are learning about what? Class, object. So I will create, uh, I will give the class name, uh, my file name as class and object only. So in this one, first I will create one class. So guys, here little very carefully. First we are creating a class. And this class I am creating, the class name I will give it what? Uh, let us say this class name I am giving main demo. So this is not necessary to take the main demo, but because in this class I am using the main method. So that's why I am giving this class name as main demo. You can give anything, there is no problem. Okay. So generally what generally we do? Suppose example first we will remove this extra stuff. Okay. Now you want to print something on the screen. So we will write inside that system dot out dot print LM. And I will print here hello. So generally what we do, we write everything inside the main. And just I will compile and run this program. I will compile and run this program. Okay. But what happens is, I am getting here hello. But generally where, what is suggested by the Java, you should not write everything inside the main. Already in the previous classes we explain and we uh, define everything to you. We should write in the separate class. So if you want to create a separate class, make sure this is a separate, we should not write anything inside. Take a separate space here and create one class. And this class will have one name. Let us say I am taking a class name as student. I am taking wide and main. Make sure this is separate and this is separate. It should be closed properly. This separate is this is class is separate and this class is separate. Now, in this class, class is a collection of data members and methods. What is class? Collection of data members and methods. Method means what? I am writing wide display. So this is a method. So why we write the method? To write some logic into the method. So what is the logic I want to write? Just I want to display some message into that one. System dot out dot print I am displaying some logic. What is the logic? Display method. Display method. Okay. Logic I will write in the coming class. So what is there? I am creating one class with the name of student and in that I am just writing a method which is just printing one message, simple message. Okay. So if I execute this program, what you will get it on the screen? So answer is you will not get anything. Just compile and run this program. Nothing is coming on the screen. So why it is not coming? Because our program starts from wide and main. Do we have anything inside the main? Answer is we don't have anything inside the main. So then what should I write here? So I want to call this class detail into my class. So first we need to create the object of that class. How to create the object? Student s is equals to new student. So generally what happens is people are doing some common mistake. What is the mistake? Here student is there, they will take s small or something. Make sure whatever the name you took here, same name you have to take it here. This is the object name, new is equals to student, nothing but for this class I am creating the memory. When I write the new, it is creating the memory. Now, by using this S, I can call whatever it is there in my class. What is there? Display. So I can call S dot display. So what you will get it on the screen? You will get it display method. Now you also display method we are getting. Okay, everybody is clear and make sure this class name and this class name, we can't take the same. Few students, like in the morning session, only few students has did this mistake. What they did? They have taken this class also student, this class also student. Not possible. Okay. So, can I create multiple methods here? Yes, you can create. Like, I want to create a show. I will create one more method. You write some message into that one. System dot out dot print and I will write, hi, this is show method. Hi, this is show and make sure guys here also, this method is closing first, then only you have to start the next method. 
we should not write one method inside another again problem will come so this method is separate this method is separate again i want to call the show so what i have to do i have to go to the main so already my student object is created no need to create again just you can write what s dot show okay so again show will be called now compile and run again so see display and show is come so like this what i can create one class inside that i created the two methods if you want to call this two method inside the main first we need to create the object then we can call the two methods i hope you got the basic idea here okay now go to the next program next program in the sense of what i will create one more class here observe very carefully all of you you will understand if you are having any doubts you will get clarification i am creating one more class the class name i will give here let us say emp demo nothing but employee demo i am creating inside that i am taking a main class let us take main class article now what i wanted to i want to print the employee detail like student details is there i want to print the employee details so i am creating one class called the employee employee is my class so employee i want to read the employee id employee name and employee city so id is nothing but integer okay id is nothing but integer already you are aware name is nothing but string name and there some people are doing what they are taking sir i am getting the error first time when you do they are saying i am getting error why because you don't try, you are not writing s is capital so compulsory when you are taking the string s should be capital name i am taking you want to read the city city is again alphabet characters nothing but what you have to take string after that if you want to read the mobile number you write integer mobile so here these are things we call the data types in the chart or you can say data members also we call it so what are the data members id name city and mobiles are the data members now sir i want to read the values for this one so read the values is nothing but either you can do you can give directly values here let us say i am giving here 10 there are two ways i am directly one way i am giving the value let us say prem city is hyderabad already you know string is we are writing inside the double quotation and mobile is equals to 1 2 3 4 5 5 so mobile number we don't write in the double quotation but string we write inside the double quotation now you want to print this on the screen so how will you print while display okay and we we'll print one by one i am writing system dot out dot println first i want to print the name is equals to so i am writing name is equals to plus whatever the name is there that name will be printed and guys it is not necessary that here order is there same order we have to print we can print as per our wish so name is printed i will just copy and paste it one by one then i wanted to print let us say id number city and mobile so i will write here id and guys as i said order could be your wish id here after that i wanted to print city so i will write city here and then i wanted to write mobile number i will write mobile here so what i am doing here is i am taking the different variables already value i am only defining it and that values i wanted to print on the screen so i am writing inside the display function that value is written this is my employee class and this class should be separate we should not include inside the bottom class now come to the bottom class you can remove those who are new they can give the space to make it different so that one should not write inside the another some people what they do they write the class here not correct it is not correct you will get error okay now this class detail i want to call into this one how to call so we'll create one class called the employee e is equals to new employee i am creating one class called employee i am creating okay because if i create the object of this class then only i will able to access the display method and how can i call the display method by using the object what is object e dot display is a object so i can call that method now if i execute this you will get the output on the screen just observe here okay so we are getting the output now few points we have to discuss here what are the points we are going to discuss suppose i want to call the other class detail into my class what we are doing we are creating the object of that class and by using that object we are calling the display method okay so similarly let us say i want to read the numbers from the keyboard sir you will say i do not want to pass values here i don't want to pass 
values here. So let us remove this all stuff. Let us remove this extra stuff. I don't want to pass the values here. So what I can do here is, I want to read the values from the keyboard. To read the values from the keyboard, I will take one method called the read values. And make sure guys, when you are writing the method name, when you are writing the method name, you have to write the method name. First letter always small. If two words are there, second letter is capital. If three words are there, third letter will be capital. Only first letter is small. After that, any number of words, first letter is capital. When you are taking the class name, first letter is capital. These rules you have to remember. Now, to read the values, actually these three things are very important. What are the three things? The first is to read the numbers. To read the numbers, we use next int method. Next int method is to read the numbers. To read the string, we use only next. Only next. To read the float decimal values, we we'll use next float. Because here see, method name is two words, that's why second letter is capital. Like I wrote here, read values, V is capital. Similarly, method name is nothing but this one. Now these three methods are available in which class? This is available in the scanner class. Scanner S is equals to new scanner. Just now we discussed for our class. What we discussed? If I want to call any class method. Now suppose example in the previous equation. Here, if I want to call the student class detail, I am creating the student class object and then I am calling display method. Similarly, if you want to call these three methods, it is available in which class? Scanner class. So that's why we need to create the object of scanner, then I can access this method by using S. How? Just observe. I will just copy this scanner class from here. It will paste to my program. It will paste to my program. Here I will paste the scanner class. Now, if I paste here, I will be getting error because we should import. It is not my class. So we have to just over here, you will get an import, import it. What do you have to do? Just take scanner over, automatically that import will come. Now see, import will come on the top. Okay, because scanner is imported here. Now done. Now you want to read what ID. So I will write here system dot out dot printer. One message I am writing here. Enter the EMP ID. By seeing this, user will enter the ID. How to read ID? Just now I told you. Integer means in the S one method is there. Next int, which will read the integer value. Only next int. Okay. S dot next. It. it will read what integer value where to store in the id so i am writing id is equals to s dot next it after that what we have to write name so system dot out dot print and i will write enter the name name means what just now i told you name is equals to s dot next only next for the name what we will write only next Again, city means what? Integer. Uh, sorry, string. String means what? Again, next. So, again, enter the city. And then again, what we have to use? City is equals to s dot next. And the final one is mobile number. Again, mobile number means what? S system dot out dot rental and I will write enter the mobile. Enter the mobile number I will write. Enter the mobile number. This mobile number I wanted to print on the screen. So I will write what? Mobile is equals to s dot next integer. Again, mobile is integer value. Here actually I don't have float. Suppose example, if you want to take average or something, you can take float also. So read value, what is the use of read values to read the all the values? Now you will get a question, sir. Sir, you are writing this all those things outside. Can I write inside also? So here is you can write inside, no problem. But if you write this variable inside, what will happen, you know? You will not able to print in the display. Why? Because if you write outside, you can access anywhere in the class. Suppose I, wrote, I did not write inside the read value. So it means what? In the employee class, whatever it is there, you can access inside the read values, you can access inside the display value. But if I write something inside the read values, so that is accessible only inside the read values. You can't access outside the read values. So this variable scope is what throughout the class. That's why I wrote outside because I want to call in the both class. So here read value is what just we are reading. Now whatever we read, we want it to print on the screen here in the display function. Just now name is equals to name. Whatever it was there, I'm not changing into that one. I hope you got the clarity what I did. 
first I create, created the variable data members here, then I read the value and after that I display the value. Everyone is clear? Okay, now come to the main. So main what I have to do, I have to create the object, I know that. If I want to call that class detail into my class, what is the first thing you have to do? You have to create the object. So I created employee is equal to new employee. After that, first you have to call what? Read dot read values. Because first you have to read the values. After that, you have to display the value. If you don't call the read values, what will happen? Display values will not come properly. Let us say I am removing this read values. What will happen? This also directly I am not calling the read values. Directly I am calling display. Now see null values are coming, nothing but default values are coming. If you want that value to be read, compulsory you have to call what? Read values. Previously I was giving values, so it was coming, but now we did not read the values, so it is not coming. So employee ID is, just observe here, I am giving employee ID is 1, 2, 3, name is PR Softwares, PR Softwares, then city is Hyderabad, and mobile number is 9030202723. So I am writing four digit text. So these details will be printed. Because name I wrote first, so that's why name is coming first. So like this, we can create the two classes and we can access one class detail into another class by using the object. I hope you got very clarity on this one. If you are having any doubts, we'll discuss in the class. Thank you for the watching this video guys.